This is such a niche topic, but at the same time, it is relatable for people who aren't Norwegian. And I'm gonna try and be quick about it, so please bear with me because I think it's a very important thing to discuss. It's just been triggered for me by something that is very Norwegian because leading up to May 17th, which is Norway's Constitution Day, a day on which we walk around in huge ass parades carrying flags and play music and all of this to celebrate our country. There are discussions about whether people should get to have other flags with them, not just Norwegian flags. And I do find this so strange, not only because there is more than one Norwegian flag, but there are so many different Norwegians and we all make up the country of Norway. A country is a mix of people with different ethnicities. It's not like my ancestors are Norwegian all the way back to, you know, the beginning of time. People in a country will have roots in other places and for a lot of people it's important to visualize this and symbolize it and just show some appreciation to other countries. A few years ago our king in his New Year's speech said something about Norwegians being immigrants, Norwegians being people from other countries, people from Sweden, from Pakistan, like a lot of different countries. Norwegians aren't just people who first of all are born in Norway but second of all have their like ancestors born in Norway. Our king also said that he too is an immigrant like his parents came here. His family hasn't always been Norwegian and now he is the king of Norway. Yes, on our constitution day we celebrate Norway, but a country is made up by its people. Like a country is its people. Without its people there's no one to carry on traditions and values in a country in general. And just so many Norwegians identify as having more than one nationality and that's fine and I definitely think you should be able to bring more flags with you because that just shows it's like a celebration of diversity which is also something that Norway is. It's obviously not the most diverse country but it is becoming more and more diverse and I think that's something that we should celebrate. And for a constitution day I think that's a great time to celebrate it. So it's a great day to visualize that Norway consists of more people than just ethnic Norwegians, which what even are ethnic Norwegians? Like, come on. <laughs> because like any country, there is racism and discrimination. And I think diversifying a day that so many people appreciate and hold in high regard, I think that's a great idea. I just don't f understand people's reasoning for not having more than one flag. Right now, people are also talking about whether people People should be allowed to bring Ukrainian flags to show support and I saw one comment. This is one of those things that you shouldn't read the Facebook comments because I know it's just gonna piss me off and I'm gonna be like what is going on though? Like why? I don't understand. Because people don't even have a reason for why they're saying it. It's just like Norway's constitution day is for Norwegian flags only. And it's like okay but why? Like please give me an actual explanation. But I saw a comment that said that we already do enough to support Ukraine so we don't need to bring the flags in the parade and I'm like okay yeah because there's a bar like there's a limit to how much support you should give. You don't need to give too much because there is such a thing as too much. You know don't bring politics into a constitution day because that has nothing to do with politics at all. For a country to become independent and have a constitution has nothing to do with politics at all. <laughs> it's not really the same thing but after the World Cup I made a video about how you shouldn't get to pick and choose when you include people because of the missed penalties and people were just saying how the players weren't English and it's like you'll claim them when it's in your benefit like when they play well but when they make mistakes or you can't expect people to score every time you know. People were saying how they weren't English and shouldn't be on the team and all of that and it's like well you you either you're either inclusive or you're not. If you're gonna include people, you need to include them all the time. It can't just be like, well, you get to you know appreciate your own culture and share it with us, but not on the Constitution Day because that day is ours. No. <laughs> it also belongs to the immigrants because they live in Norway and you know a lot of them are gonna settle down here for life. They are Norwegian as well. The day belongs to all of us and I think if people want to bring more flags than one that's completely fine and I don't know why we're arguing about this because it's I don't really think it's a big deal if someone brings well I mean obviously <laughs> I'm kind of biased here because I don't see why someone shouldn't get to appreciate their like current country of origin on a constitution day but I don't really see why anyone would be offended that someone brought a different flag like 
like, is are you that fragile? Like, are, is your feeling of nationality that fragile that you think that if someone brings a different flag, something's gonna happen? There's a lot of prejudice and just like being scared of change. I think that's why I, why I wanted to make this video because it's really important to normalize that we're becoming more more diverse and everything is not gonna be what what it's always been. But that's a good thing. Imagine all the things we wouldn't have had if we didn't have immigrants. And I'm not saying it's good that people have to flee their homes, but it is good that countries become more diverse. Yeah, I wanted this to be a short video. I wonder what kind of response this is gonna get. Thank you for listening, and I shall see you when I see you. Keep it the good vibes. Bye!